Hey guys, super exciting. So in view of the free classes that are currently happening because of the COVID-19 pandemic, so many awesome creators are giving away a lot of really cool content. So I actually thought it would be really fun to do a few videos, kind of like a masterclass in reborn doll painting. So I've added a teaser here. You guys can click right from this video to the modules and enjoy this content at your own leisure. It's about an hour and a half master class. So while you guys are secluded and in quarantine, practicing social distancing, this will hopefully give you some nice creative escapism. So now let's jump into the video. To pull up any paint, especially inside the ear. Again, this is a lot of repetition from the last <laughs> two modules. Um, and you can use this flat liner to go around. Uh, if it's a little bit damp, you can go around um, the nose again, go up the nostril a little as well, just to, to uh, just kind of get that little, very gentle um, shadow. I also like to use my sharp triangular sponge to kind of go around the nose as well. You can again do that as well around the eyes and the eye creases as well and on the forehead just as I did in the last step and under the eyes. <laughs> just make sure it's super even and soft. It's, you basically are just seeing like a really, really, really faint sort of shadowing that you're kind of getting at. Um, and then you can use your large mop brush to again, um, pounce and sort of blend, kind of uh, sweep in a circular motion um, around that area so that where the paint meets the unpainted parts so that you don't have any harsh lines or anything like that. You want that really seamless look. It's basically like an illusion. Um, you're going for like an illusion look sort of thing like that when you're gonna have it. Um, when you paint it <laughs> or when you photograph it, I should say. <laughs> and again, using your flat brush to go in any of the creases, make sure there's no um, thinner, medium or any of the paint builds up, uh, especially behind the ears as well. And again, behind the back of the head, <laughs> um, if you notice that you've kind of missed a spot or as the paint dries, you might sometimes notice that there's sort of a, a missing little spot. You can go over and repounce and make sure that you've covered every area. Again, I'm like really thorough with these layers um, and really perfectionistic, but but I mean, you, you, you can't hide flaws um, on ethnic tones as well. Um, with Caucasian, you can do um, with the mottling layers, there's sort of that uneven skin tone for newborns, um, which yes, to some degree, ethnic tones do too, but you really um, see the paint much more vividly. Um, and that goes for any errors or build up in the paint layers. Like if you've got crease build up or anything like that with all these flesh layers, you're gonna see it. So that's why it's really important um, to make sure you're using that flat brush, blending really well, waiting to see if it dries, uh, waiting to, for it to dry before baking um, again. So guys, if you're interested in seeing more of this amazing video, you can click the link below, which will take you directly to the free module. You don't need to register in order to enjoy the content. My Reborn Doll Making course is now up to 60 modules. It covers three babies painted start to finish and is now up to about 20 hours of video footage. It includes PDFs and charts, seven free bonuses, as well as the Facebook support group. And if you're interested in my Reborn Doll Making course, it is RebornAtoZcourse.com. So I will be back with another video as part of this free masterclass on painting in the next video. Bye guys, I'll see you next time.